God cannot use you more than he can see your heart. And see. I get what I'm saying now. And the Bible says to us that it's also desperately wicked. Who can know it? So it is only God that searches it and can see it. So, but what I saw here is the fact and the truth that if the heart is dark, to make it work well, it needs more light. And then Psalm 119 said, the entrance of your word is what brings light. Follow me, follow me. So it means that if my heart is going to produce well and bring forth the result, I have to expose it more to light. As I'm exposing myself to light, my thinking also will be the thinking of light. My, the work of darkness will begin to go far away from me. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So the more lighted the place is, the, 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 dispersing, the more dispersing the operations of darkness will be. Now, God now told us through that same man, David, that they, they, they spoke about, that even though he has his struggles and he began to talk to the Lord and cry, he now he discovered the secret of the king. In Psalm 119. Let's look at 11 to 16. Then I will share just five things and then continue from there. Psalm 119, verse 11 to 16. So, the heart is dark, desperately wicked, Darkness does not just go away on its own. The only way to get darkness out is to flush light. The heavier the density of light, the more clearer the, 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 the place where it was dark. Now, Psalm 119 from verse number 16. I mean, from verse 11, sorry. 11. All right. Thy word. Okay, let's, look, let's go back to verse 9. Let's take it from there. We're taking 9 to 16. So we'll see the key here by David. That so that man, after God's own heart, who also had his own struggle, now was able to break the key. He saw the secret to fixing the thing. He said, Where with or how shall a young man cleanse his way by taking it according to thy word? With my whole heart have I sought you. Let me not wander away from your commandment. Verse 11. Thy word have I eat in where? Where? All right. I'd like somebody to open amplified and then uh, easy to read on that verse 11 too. Have I eat in my heart? Why? Because the entrance of your word bring light. So if I hide the light in my heart, let your light just be staying there. There will therefore not be more room for darkness to occupy because it is always lighted. Are you getting me now? My, thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me your status. With my lips have I declared all your judgment out of my mouth because my heart is now filled with your word. So what is coming out of my mouth can no longer be words of darkness. And if word of darkness is not coming out of my mouth, as it's returning back into my heart, it's not returning darkness back there. Are, are you seeing the cycle of the operations of the heart? Now, with my lips and verse 14, I have rejoiced in the ways of thy testimony as much as in all riches. I will meditate. This is the way of distributing light. The way, you see, the way the heart pumps blood into your brain, another part, is the way meditation will supply the light into every part of your body and your life. Meditation is the distribution of the light into every part of your life. It is in the center of the heart where you begin to meditate on the words of the Lord. It begins to distribute light into every part of your heart and your life. And have respect unto your ways. Verse 16. I will delight myself in thy status. I will not forget. So precept upon precept. So the reason why you are thinking the way you are always thinking is because what you have been hearing is in the way of what you are thinking. So you cannot call darkness with darkness. You can only cure darkness with light. And because it is hidden, it has to allow light to go there. So if the food of the heart is the word, then I can determine what grows in my heart by what I feed on. So when God said, guard your heart with all diligence, one of the things he's always saying is that plant in your heart that which will produce the good fruit you want to see. Be the farmer of your heart. Be the one that takes charge of what you grows in your heart. 
So out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Who is putting the abundance there? It is as you allow God through his word to fill your heart. That man now concluded, I will never forget the word. Do have any other translation? TPT. It is my greatest treasure. I treasure it in my heart. To keep me from committing what? Treason. Like treason and felony. 